Do you ever wonder why wallets are discontinued? Well, we have one right here to talk about today. It's the Bellroy Square, so stick around. Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Go to wallatopia.info to register. You won't regret it. Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. And also a new site, explore.wallatopia.info, gives you an insight into different wallets based on an interactive method. So you can go there, look around, and be able to find the wallet that you want to buy next. Now, do you ever wonder why wallets are discontinued? A while back, we reviewed the Anson Calder Bifold Coin Wallet which has since been discontinued for reasons that were obvious to all of us when we did the review. Now we have another one here today, but this one is the Bellroy Square. So let's get into it. Packaging is what you'd expect from Bellroy. It's all very consistent, I like that. So if we open this up, get into it. We have the Bellroy Square. The one I got here is a tan exterior. The blue and orange, a great contrast of colors here. Bellroy always provides a great instruction in every one of their wallets, very specific to the wallet that they're selling. Very interesting. Usual Bellroy construction. Thin leather cuts to enable the designs they, they use. Nice little wallet. Let's do a feature review on the Bellroy Square Wallet. Let's review the features of this wallet, then let's consider why it's been discontinued. There is nothing on the exterior feature-wise in this wallet, so if we open it up, we'll notice that we have three card slots on the interior. We have one, two, three right here on both sides, and then we also have this semi-gusseted pocket right here. It's fairly large and it kind of comes out a bit, so it uh, provides ample space to put things in there. It also has a billfold slot right here on the interior. Put your cash. There's also one hidden card slot right here, right on the inside. And that is a quick review of the features of the Bellroy Square Wallet. Now, I'm not gonna do a card and cash insertion test on this. Uh, it's just not part of what we wanna do for this particular one. The company does recommend four to 12 cards. It's you know big and it was designed for large bills, yen and euro. Uh, let me lay those out for you. As you can see with the yen, it does overlay nicely. It fits inside of the billfold slot just fine. And we have the same situation with euros. They're up to the 100 euro that I have here, but it provides a lot of space on both sides. And uh, you know, so it's not very tight by way of its functionality for cash, but that's not its purpose because it has a horizontal view on the cards. And that's why we see this being so big. And that's why it's a square because it has height for cash and width for cards in a horizontal versus vertical space. From a quality perspective, uh, this is designed in Australia and made in India like all Bellroy products are. And the wallet, wallet follows the same design and construction methods of all Bellroy products. As you can see here, it's a you know, very thin cut leather and typically they do a wrap over edge. Some of their more higher end lines, the designer editions also have a painted edge on this too. This one does not. You can see how it's just sewn all the way around, but it's a very thin cut and that's what allows it to be a thin wallet overall. Now it weighs 43 grams, so it's not terribly heavy. It's priced at $59, which is very affordable considering most Bellroy product price points a lot higher. But that's also due to why it was discontinued. You know, the price starts to go down when they're not selling this thing. Now, quality isn't an issue with this. It's the same as other Bellroy products. Pricing is excellent, which explains that it wasn't attracting a following, so they likely lowered the price over time, resulting in a reasonable price of $59. Now, usability in this is fine. Access to all the cards and cash is good. So why? Why was this discontinued? Well, here are some of the reasons for its discontinuance in my mind. The most obvious reason is that it couldn't find a unique feature offering to distinguish itself from all of its siblings. Let me explain. Let's look at the Bellroy note sleeve here. The note sleeve has card slots. These are vertical card slots that we see here. It has a billfold pocket and it has a secret slot in here, right here, just like the square does. But it also has a coin pouch right in here. Additionally, 
it has this pull strap here that the feature does, or that the uh, square does not have. Now the square also shares functionality with the hide and seek here. So let's take a quick look. As we can see, the hide and seek also has the same horizontal card placement. Horizontal cards, horizontal cards. But the hide and seek also has this secondary billfold slot here in the back that's hidden by this flap that goes over the top for cash. It also has an option in this for a tall currency version. Notice this is the short, but it does have a tall one as well. So you have the option of a short or tall, so it covers currency, and it has an additional feature than the square does. So while very similar, the hide and seek still has more features than the tall. And while we're talking about that, the Bellroy tall wallet, as you can see in, uh, in a picture right here, we don't have it in our inventory. It's for taller currencies, not horizontal. It's vertical in its card storage. So its footprint is more akin to the Bellroy Slim Sleeve. And can you guess the status of the tall wallet? Well, you'd be right. It's also been discontinued. Nothing remarkable in its feature set. Finally, the twin sister of this wallet is called the Low. It's uh, the picture you can see right up here. Yeah. Uh, it is not for tall currencies, it is for low currencies. It's kind of the opposite of the square. All the features are the same except for the currency height, but it's a separate wallet. It's just not a separate option or version, right? So this leaves us with the following marketing-based conclusions as well as a future prediction I have for you on this. The first conclusion is that they should have combined the three products as one SKU for purchase. We have three products if you count the tall wallet instead of individual standalone products. The tall, the low, and the square. And it would have been just great to have one with different options to choose from instead of three separate SKUs. Now, the other selection option would have been the low, as you know I showed you there. And the Bellroy should have combined both of these wallets as they did with the Bellroy Hide and Seek. The Bell Bellroy Hide and Seek here has two options that you can, you can choose from, one for tall currencies, one for low currencies. The second conclusion is there wasn't enough product feature differentiation between the Square and the other wallet offerings that they had, so it wasn't compelling enough to buy. In this case, price is not a strategy as Bellroy has conditioned its customers around meeting needs through unique features and design versus price. People who buy Bellroy are usually set to around spending money on it. So the third conclusion, which is my future prediction, is that the low product will also see its demise owning to the previous conclusions I also mentioned. Well, well, it is still a competent wallet uh, and from other manufacturers that would be priced slightly lower, I bet it would be selling just fine. But when a product is competing against siblings that are far superior, it's not a surprising outcome, honestly. Now, what would this wallet have scored had it been available for sale? And I have to say that it is available for sale still on Amazon, but they're obviously not manufacturing it anymore. So the future of it is bleak, but if you still want one, uh, look in the notes, you can get one. So now let me take you through the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of three, usability of three, and perception of three. That gives us a final score of 33 out of 50. So nothing fantastic from this model uh, of Bellroy. And if you'd like to look at the notes below, you can look at all other Bellroy reviews that we've done for their wallets. And if you'd like to look at all the rankings of the wallets we've reviewed, you can go to walletopia.info slash rankings. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks, bye.